Hello everyone and welcome to Jobberman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have another follow-up video for a York package unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. This is a follow-up video for a York package unit. We figured out the airflow issue in a previous visit. We got it back online, but here are the pressures. This is 410A. We had 142.6 back pressure with a 540 pound head pressure. That head pressure is super high, but if we look at it, we had a 58 degree subcooling and 1.5 degrees of superheat. Basically no superheat, super high cooling with a high head pressure. That's telling me that the system is overcharged. So today we're gonna be getting this unit back online. We're gonna start by recovering the remaining refrigerant in the circuit. Then we're gonna change the filter dryer and we're gonna scale in the exact amount of refrigerant that this unit takes so we have a perfect charge. We are currently recovering the refrigerant. Let's wait till this drops down to zero. All right, recovery is now done. All right, so we're now recovered. We're gonna wanna make sure that we are dealing with the correct system. So these are actually two circuits in here. The filter dryers are in here. All right, so this is a pretty tight space to make this repair. I can brace here, but not really in there. That's kind of... Uh, kind of tight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take off this panel right here. Alright, that is definitely gonna be a lot better. Right, now we got real access here. Alright, so I just pulled the Schrader valves off. That's this port and this port. And what I'm going to do is while I braze, I'm going to run nitro through the system. So we're going to have it at a very, very low pressure coming in through this side, the high side, while I'm brazing. And you want to run nitro inside while you braze so you don't oxidize, so you don't have that heavy carbon build up inside the piping and you start clogging things and it's a whole mess. So the way we're going to do this is as we run nitro right through the high side, it's going to be passing through the system and exiting out through here and at the same time you want one side open so it vents so as we run the nitro we're gonna make our connection all right so here's our filter dryer here's the new one one thing you also want to always pay attention to is the arrow this has to flow in a certain direction unless it's a heat pump it's a bi flow it goes either way but standard systems only go one way so let's cut this out Let's get this show on the road. pushing out smoke coming out of here right here too what is that oil anyways got a bunch of stuff coming out of here okay this comes out of the condenser and goes to our expansion valve. Okay. It's gonna leave a marking like this so you can see the flow when you open up the little window. Let's go ahead and turn on the nitro, braze this thing up.
All right, so I got both gauges on this time. I'm gonna charge through the high side. And we're gonna pressurize the system and check my connection. As I'm charging through the high side, you can see the back pressure is raising. So let's pressurize and check for leaks. For this, I'm gonna be using micro gas leak detector, Cal Blue Plus. I can see that we're fully covered, but you always wanna check your work. It's looking good. Over here, we also had this little rubber piece that basically holds this in place. Let's put that back. All right, now that's safe, and we're ready to close this up and proceed. As a rule of thumb, every time I take out Schrader valves, I always put in new ones. That's the last little thing you want leaking, and it's a very common thing, so while you got the system open, it's just a good practice to do so. Got the system right now in a vacuum, so let's let this thing run for a bit. All right, looking at about 729 microns. It's looking pretty good. One thing I love about package units is that we know the refrigerant charge for them. So if you look on this tag, it tells you. Thing is, there's two circuits, and I'm not sure which circuit is which. One has eight pounds, the other one has seven pounds and eight ounces. So I'm gonna start with the lower one first, and we'll see what happens. We got the tank on the scale, right? And we also purged, so let's do it. Let's charge it up. All right, so it took about just as much as it could take. Got this closed off. All right, let's start this up. Mode, cool. Let's bring it down. Got my digital probe set up here. Got the suction line on one probe, the temperature probe. And I also got the liquid line on the filter dryer. So. Click the reset. Let's see what happens. All right, she started. All right. These pressures are so much better. I got 112 back pressure with a 246, 245 head pressure. Man, that is a huge difference. We had like 140 something back pressure with like no superheat. And we had like 500 pounds head pressure. We brought that head pressure down like in half. That's a beautiful thing. Alright guys, we got 52 degrees supply air. Pressure is looking good. This circuit is running. So right now, the real issue is going to be the second circuit where I put my gauges on it and it's just about almost empty. So there's a big leak on that circuit. But we got the system running efficiently at 50 percent and pretty much this handles what it needs to but we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week i'll catch you all next time